So we will s- Hello my fellow Latter-day Saints, Kenzie Retro here, back once again, it's Saturday. This is my, this is my first video since... My first proper video, I should say, since Tuesday. When I did more F1 2018, yeah, uh, because Thursday I addressed the um, Jacksonville shootings that took place last week. But it's back to business as usual. Tom and Jerry sins, episode thirty-one, the Invisible Mouse. This one I'm going to have fun with. So, the sin, the sin glasses are on, and usual rules apply. Here we go. You absolute trolls. You had my hopes built up thinking, yay, we're finally gonna have the Tom and Jerry theme back. Nope. Sight it to the floor, suckers! You evil trolls, guys. Come on! All together now. Mice do not like cheese. Now, Jerry. First of all, you shouldn't be trying to grab the cheese because mice do not like cheese. And second of all, it is clearly tied onto a piece of string. Could you not tell it was tied to some string? All you have to do is follow the string to see where it leads. Yeah, as if the third time was gonna work. Jerry, why are you surprised at this point? Because that happens every single time! Now what was the point of going all the way up the stairs just to go all the way back down again? That wasn't there before! Now few things wrong here. Number one, the way the um, the way that knot is round uh, Tom's neck, yeah, that's definitely not possible. Number two, the mechanics of the cuckoo clock wouldn't work, so it shouldn't be going boop 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 boop. And number three, why is Tom wearing it as if it's one of those baby hat whatchamacallits? My mum will know what that is. How did he get it off so quickly? Nope! Oh, that is just degrading, Tom. You should know what happens by now. Jerry has a plate in his hands. Which, by the way, he shouldn't be strong enough to lift. And Tom is sitting there, standing in this case, but you know what I mean, with a big smug old grin on his face, oblivious to the fact that Jerry has a plate that is clearly going to be smashed over the top of his head! Why would you have a chemistry set just lying about? Right. This is where the fun part happens. This is where the fun really begins. I've been looking forward to this. As soon as I saw the title of this episode, I thought, oh goody, this is going to be fun. And this is why. I am now going to be 
adding two sins for everything that is wrong with this episode. Because Jerry should be completely invisible or INVINCIBLE! Shut up, Homer. In this case. Yes, I prefer invincible to invisible. Come at me, haters. Jerry diving into the invisible ink. Meaning the entire mouse should be invincible. That's the entire premise of the episode. That's the title of the episode, the invisible mouse. The entire mouse should be invisible after diving into the invisible ink. That's the whole point. <coughs> Jerry, don't act so surprised. The biggest Cheshire Cat grin you could possibly think of. Wait, hang on a minute, where did he go? Oh, of course, he's invisible, right, of course. Why didn't this happen the first time he dived in? Yes, I know he's invisible and all that, but this is where the- this is- like I said, this is where the- this is where the fun really begins. Because that would not be moving by itself. Like I said, I know Jerry's invisible at this point, but I don't care. That's not the point. The point is I'm pointing out the logic gaps, and this is one of them. Unrealistic physics once again! Hmm. Tasty chocolate truffles. Save me one. Wait, hang on. How does that? How does that actually disappear by itself? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You should be full long before now, Jerry. And that's ten sins, by the way. But wait, because he's invisible, and you shouldn't, and you shouldn't be seeing them being eaten by. Nothing. Let's get. We're gonna double that and make it twenty cents. Yeah, that ruler ain't moving by itself. Since when did the ruler become a diving board? <laughs> now, the cushion wouldn't be yeah. Uh, Making all those wavy patterns by itself. Uh, wait, wait, hang on a second. Oh, finally we get to see him! Never mind. Because he's, uh, I mean, oh, goodness me. <laughs> Here we go, I think we might be on a, I think we might be hitting a new record at this point. Um, yeah, because he went under it, shouldn't it be rubbing part of the ink off? Mm-hmm, you see the logic gaps I nitpick here? So therefore you should be able to see him when he's making that um, sidearm thing into a parachute. Wait a minute. Where did the stitches go? Okay, now that should definitely be rubbing the ink off because you can see the- you can clearly see the outline of Jerry. I mean- WHERE IS HE?! Now who'd have thought I'd be saying it twice in the same episode? MICE DO NOT LIKE CHEESE, BUT YOU CANNOT SEE THE MOUSE, SO HOW IS THE CHEESE BEING EATEN? Wait, I don't- WHAT'S GOING ON HERE?! Yeah, the iron wouldn't be levitating. But even if it wasn't being levitated, you wouldn't have... Jerry being able to... Lift the thing, because he's too small to be able to lift that without any problems. Shouldn't Tom be feeling that? Oh, well, that's the electric supply gone. How is the house still alight? Come on! 
Wait, hang, wait. That wouldn't be possible because he should be taking a trip to the vet because he just got electrocuted! But he shouldn't be able to get electrocuted because you can't see what is happening because Jerry is invisible and because he's invisible I am pointing out the logic gas because you can't see him in the same way you can't see Don't see Yeah, yeah, I know 2015 just called but I don't care Hmm, yeah, unless you've got some sort of magnets underneath that ball, yeah, that ain't moving by itself. Wait, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. I swear Tom thinks he's seeing things at this point. If I was in his position, I wouldn't blame him. That shouldn't be happening! Oh, you've always got to get the last drop. <gasps> it's always the tongue. It um, yeah, the matches shouldn't be floating. He rips part of the match off. And because he's sticking it in there, a, it should be felt by Tom, and B, because of the, like, jagged points, it should be causing some sort of pain. But because Jerry's invincible, he shouldn't be doing this. And then he decides against and just uses the entire set. <laughs> Oh, why is it so hot in here? Tom, you see smoke. Smoke means fire. Which means GET OUT THE HOUSE! Or in this case, because the matches are burning your foot, you should be feeling the pain of being burnt! And he just shrugs it off as if it's nothing! Now there's your unrealistic sound design, making its glorious return every week as always. Now... Mm. Yeah. When did... Tom's scream become a fire bell. Why is there no goldfish in there? That is actually quite disturbing. I'm only going to take one sin off. But it ain't gonna help the overall sin tally. Ow! That's a broken neck and a trip to the vet! Also... Yeah... It wouldn't fall down that quickly, would it? Ah! Where's his head gone? Where's his head gone? He's lost his head completely! Oh, come on! Now, okay, this is where the sink count gets doubled because you can't see Jerry himself, but you can see his shadow. The whole point of being invisible is you cannot be seen, shadow included! Also, when he's ate part of it, mm -hmm. yeah, the real part went, but the shadow didn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was half expecting a fake gunshot on point of impact cliche, but surprisingly, no! And then he still escapes, are you kidding me?! Uh? 
What a waste of flour. Now that's how it should be done. Why did you not think of this earlier? Yeah, you should definitely be gone by this point. ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! Also, how do you manage to write that quickly? Wouldn't the flower be off his feet long before now? I my nose! Oh, it sucks! It hurts! You'd think Tom was losing his mind at this point. He was HOLDING NOTHING! WHY IS THERE STILL FLOWER COMING OFF HIS FEET?! Ah, I CAN'T ESCAPE! I CAN'T ESCAPE! I CAN'T ESCAPE! <laughs> Ugh, double the scene count! DAMN IT, SHOULDN'T BE ABLE TO ESCAPE! The golf club wouldn't be moving by itself. Ah! <laughs> just, just, just one more time. Shot on point of impact, cliche. Ah, it took you long enough to make your appearance. Yeah, that would definitely hurt at this point. <laughs> it's very realistic as far as the pain is concerned, but not very realistic as far as the sound design is concerned. It is a golf club, not a blasted gun! Why? And another one. Ah, typical. Tom gets blamed for everything. Pop. 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 Oh boy, that golf club would be long destroyed by now. Now, shouldn't the ears pop back at the same time? Never mind. Also, um, small issue here. What would have happened if he drank regular milk? Oops. Whoo! That was a fun episode to see. So many logic gaps with Jerry being invisible. That's where the fun really started. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, as always, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the Latter-day Saints notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. On the left, you've got in my race in Bahrain from F1 2018. And on the left, you've got my dedicated Tom and Jerry playlist. Um, so, yeah, we've got... We've got another episode coming up soon, but until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out, and stay faithful as always. That's another, that's another, uh, You should be fooled by, you should be long. Uh, fridge.